Seems like every year we start off the same way. Freezing cold conditions to the kickoff of the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. Hi, everybody. Robbie Floyd along with Kay Donaldson, the program director of the ABT. And Kay, it's finally here. The eighth season is ready to fire it up. We are, and you know, we couldn't be at a better place. Alexander City, Lake Martin, one of the best, most beautiful lakes in the state of Alabama. And you know, the hospitality here is just unrivaled. Yeah, this place is not hurting for shoreline. There is a lot of available space for these guys to catch fish. And uh, by any indication, it may be cold, but I still believe they're going to catch fish today. I do too. You know, Alabama's basically been in the deep freeze for the last few days, and we've had a warming trend, and I think that's going to make the fish a little more active, and I think these guys are going to catch them. What we've heard all all week is that people are catching fish. They just haven't found that four to five pounder. Yeah, temperatures as far as the lake concerned, maybe uh, upper 40s, low 50s. It's 26 degrees right now this morning at takeoff, but we're expecting things to heat up somewhere in the mid 50s. I can't wait for that to happen. And now it's time for our Academy Sports and Outdoors first cast of the day. Well, we just launched 225 boats here at Wing Creek State Park on beautiful Lake Martin. It's the first stop of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division. Cold morning, it's 26 degrees this morning. Everybody got, got off safely. We're gonna get out there and see what the guys are doing. Hey guys, welcome back. Alabama Bass Trail TV here. Lake Martin, first stop of the South. Just pulled up on Team 72, Aaron Owens, Josh Holcomb, and uh, out here deep. Uh, out here doing something that a lot of folks said may or may not play well. Got a big long point out here and they're chasing wolf packs of spots, trying to get 11, 12 pounds, get an early limit, and then they'll go to the bank and go searching for a large mouse. So it's a, it's a little different strategy than what we've seen. We, everybody we've talked to, uh, everybody we've heard from says shallow is going to be the deal. It's 25 degrees we took off this morning. Sun's out, it's warming up, it's starting to feel a little better. Hopefully the fish will feel that too. So. We'll hang out here. We got one on. And there's number two in the boat. We just pulled up on Jeffrey Haskins and Joel Molina. Guys, how's it going so far this morning? Pretty good, sir. We got one in the box, about one six. Okay. All right, it's still early. We just finished takeoff, so that's a good start. Yeah, it's still early, so we're going to hit this spot maybe 10 more minutes, and we're going to take a little run up north. Okay. What you got in the box? Not really anything worth like anything. Well, how many you got? One. One. What's it, what's it weigh? Six, seven? Oh, we wish. I wish. <laughs> so why the Alabama Bass Trail? The best. <laughs> the best of the best. Yeah, this is my first time ever competing and he's bass never fishing and I decided, you know, skip the easy stuff. I'll just go straight to the, to the Oh pros. my god, dude, that's like that's like Jumped missing high school and college feet. going right to the pros. <laughs> yeah. So were you nervous this morning to blast off? Uh, a little bit of nervous butterflies, yeah. I was more excitement probably. Okay. Newbie on camera. Look at there, look at there. Nice. That's a solid fish, bro. Wow. You know, here at Lake Martin, they have a winter drawdown. The lake is drawn down during the winter, and it takes later on in the spring before the water finally comes up. You can look over my shoulder here, and when the water's down, it's a good time to really come, come on the lake and search around. You can see all the, the rock piles. You can see the treetops that are further out in the water. As this water raises later on in the spring, all that's under the water. So if, you, if you're not familiar with the lake, it's a good time to go out in the wintertime and just ride around and look at all these rock structures and all the treetops. That way, as the water comes up, you'll have a better idea of the structure and, and the cover that the fish are using. Thank you. 
Hold him. Alabama Bass Trail TV, sponsored by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Petty Automotive, by TH Marine, improving your boat from transom to trolling motor, and by Jax. It's all about the South. There's more to come. At Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats, built by anglers for anglers. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Lifescope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! Take a look at this, Mike and Wade Hornsby. They have been on fire. It's their first ever Alabama Bass Trail event. They've got one on now. This is about the fourth fish I've seen them catch here in the past 15 minutes, but their day started off in a big way. Let's find out if this one's gonna help. Is it gonna help at all? Uh, I don't think so. Eh, maybe not. They think they have about 10 pounds in the live well right now, but they've got their limit. They got their limit early and they're just culling, but they're around a lot of activity and they're just trying to find that bigger bite right now. But hey, your first ever Alabama Bass Trail event, five fish in the live well, they're just trying to upgrade. So far this morning, we've seen guys, you know, really kind of moving pretty fast, covering water, crankbaits, not stopping. These guys pulled up to this point right here and he pulled, it's either a drop shot or a shaky head, I can't tell from this distance, but there must've been something underneath the boat because he started out pitching right underneath the boat and didn't get bit and then he threw up against the bank. But he threw that, you know, several casts kind of slowing down. Now he's picked up a moving bait again and moving. I think that's kind of what we'll see throughout the day. These guys are trying to cover water pretty quick, get that good reaction bite. As the day goes on and the sun gets higher, these fish are going to get pulled tighter to the cover. We'll see a lot more of the shaky head and drop shots at that time. He's tired of waiting on you. Dude, he's even got the TV pose down. Mm-hmm. There he is. Well, we got a fish on with luster and luster here. This will be, well, would have been number three in the boat, but two in the boat, so they pulled up here 30 minutes ago. Scott, how many bites have you had here now? Six. Six bites, they got two in the boat. So, um, keying on some, some brush and some rock out here in, and uh, off some of these secondary points. 
fish on. Guys, how's your day going so far? Not the best so far. We got two. Two, what kind of size? Uh, two and a half and a keeper. We was talking about y'all earlier. I said, ain't no way a camera boat's going to where we at way back here. <laughs> <laughs> can't find us back here. <laughs> 15 minutes later, y'all popped up. <laughs> we heard you talking about us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, don't be afraid to throw a big bait. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, will be right back. At Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats, built by anglers for anglers. The taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground royal cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. I got one. Fish on? 
Uh, keeper's a keeper at this point. Oh, yeah. Is that a spot or a large mouth? Spot. Maybe they'll get larger by the big, I mean, bigger by the end of the day. Boat number 91, Mike Hearn, Sugar Walker. They've had a strong day as well, not far from takeoff, about 25 to 30 bass, about 10 pounds in the live well, and they are just lined up on this point. Some big chunk rock up to the left and uh, drops back to about 24 feet. So it's a, a pretty deep pocket. Um, wind kind of switching around just a little bit. Things are starting to warm up, but I don't know how things can get hotter for them. I mean, 25 to 30 fish in the first couple of hours, things are looking good for this team. Guys? Mid morning, how's your day going so far? Well, we got five. Okay, what kind of size? Uh, about five and a half pounds. Okay, so five little ones. Yeah, we're looking for some big ones right now. Are they all spots or a mixture? Uh, yeah, they are. They're all spots. Okay. Have they come scattered throughout the day or did you hit them at a certain time? We've been getting bit consistently. We just, we've missed a lot. We finally hooked up with a few past hour or so. Okay. But, I mean, we probably had 15 or 20 bites from since we started to now. It's been real finicky? Yeah, it's like they were just, you could tell they wasn't grabbing it good. When you come back, the worm would be, you know, an inch or so behind the hook where they, the teeth marks and stuff was. typical size right there. You catch about 10 of these and you catch a good one. Then you catch 10 more and you catch another good one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got another point. Right out there we want to go try. Trying to let the sun get up on it a little bit. I caught. I saw them. They were there Monday. I made two casts and caught two, a little over three pounds a piece, and left. <laughs> I need that sun to get up on it before I go over there and mess with it. We got three. Got three. What kind of size? No size. Okay. No size. A lot tougher than spin the last couple of times. I guess this cold front slapped them in the face. Yeah. So your practice was pretty good? Practice was good. I mean, it catch, as far as numbers. Right. We're catching a lot of fish, nothing any size, but we can't even catch numbers today. Wow. There he's hooked up. Oh, the cotton came off. I saw the rod bow up on that one, though. Mm-hmm. Well, you talk about how finicky they are, and you're showing it, you're showing it to us. They're grabbing it, but they yeah, they'll it. hold on to it, but they'll break. Last weekend I had six that broke the arm all right back to it. We've had three do it today. Yeah. Here we are, it's, it's a little bit after 11 o'clock. You know, at least half the day is gone for most of the field. Some of these guys don't wait until as late as 4 o'clock, so they still have plenty of time to put it together. So far from what we've seen, that the bite has been really tough, real finicky bite is what we call it. What we've just witnessed here, guys getting bit, not being able to set the hook. They think they're, they're just biting the, the tail of the worm. They're swimming off with it, still can't get the hook set. So guys have got to keep their head in the game, stay focused, keep working, keep moving, hope that they'll find the right area where the good-sized fish are. Alabama Bass Trail TV, brought to you by Phoenix Boats, is sponsored by Bill Penny Automotive Group, by Sweet Home Alabama, and by America's First Credit Union. Stay with us, there's more to come. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydra Wave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor.
Lakes Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats, built by anglers for anglers. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. If you didn't already know, Amherst has great rates on auto loans, and boat loans, and motorcycle loans, and really any loans, including ones for your business. With a variety of terms as low as 2%, we're kind of hard to beat. Brandon Hurst, Mike Freeman. Hey, and I got a big fish, finally. Oh, I got a few fish. I think we might have a, a new leader here. It's gonna be close. Nah, not close. Brandon Hurst, Mike Freeman, we do have a new leader, 1226. Uh, it was pretty good. It started off all right. It's a little slow during midday, and then they started biting again, of course, about 1230 or so. It was really cold this morning. Did you have a long run this morning? No, we stay close by this morning. Larry Walter, Shane Patterson, come on over here. I hear you got a good one. I see a good one over there. Real good one. I like it. Get over there next to that microphone. Let me talk to you. We need 1226 to take the lead. Walters and Patterson, 1391. We've got a new leader. Well, I'm just glad I had a good partner. He caught everything we weighed in today. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then tell me how you caught the fish today. We just finesse fished all day. Got lucky and got, got a few good bites. I fished terrible. I, I miss fish after fish after fish. Broke off a three pounder at the boat. And we were just lucky, real fortunate. And uh, tell you what, we prayed those fish up. Now it was really cold this morning. How long of a run did y'all have this morning? It, it was as far as you could go. <laughs> All the way south. Jimmy Whaley, Terry Adams, they got a big fish I'm here and I like hearing that. And our Mountain Dew Big Bass is a 496. And yeah, this one uh, is a toad in there, let's see how close it can get. And also a good bag overall, gonna move him in the top five, 11.50 for Jimmy Whaley and Terry Adams. I wanna talk about this big fish you weighed in, 5.5 pounds. Tell us how you caught that fish. I caught that fish on a, a brown jig, 3 h jig, flipping a tree. Hang on. Let me look at those things again, cause they need 13.91 to take the lead. Newman and Patterson, 13.25. So close. That is second place as it stands right now. That's $5,000. That's nothing to just scoff at. Tell us how you caught those fish today. Caught them on shaky head. Shaky head. Yeah, we were uh, fishing a point. Had some docks on it, and we uh, started out shallow and worked deep. The uh, big spot we had probably come, what, 8 o'clock this morning, and it was about 12 foot of water. So did you stay in this area the whole the whole day, just kind of moving back and forth? Yeah, we worked it all day. Well, as things heated up during the day, I think Walters and Patterson stayed heated up throughout the day. I think the hometown advantage kind of paid off for them, don't you? It's a double-edged sword. Sometimes, you know, being your home lake, you kind of have that curse that you just go to history instead of what the fish are doing. They obviously proved that wrong today. Yeah, almost 14 pounds, guys. Congratulations on your victory on the Alabama Bass Trail here at Martin. And, and literally knowing those spots, stuff that's underneath that water that nobody has any ideas there really paid off for you today. It really did. We have we got tons of places on this lake, and we practice 
Thursday it was, and just got, one day, just one day of practice, and we jumped around and knew where they were biting and just kept our head down. We didn't get but seven keeper bites all day that we landed. We lost one that we thought it was going to really hurt, but it didn't, so it all paid out. It worked out good. Congratulations, almost 14 pounds, and more importantly, $10,000 and a trip to the championship. I mean, it's starting off big for them, and they said that. They said, we don't have to worry about that championship anymore. They punched their ticket. You know, they can kind of fish a little easy now. The pressure's off. They've made the championship, but I know these guys and the quality of the anglers in the Alabama Bass World, they're not going to let up. Yeah, it's just like being at a casino. You win early. You, now you're playing with the, the house money. Congratulations on your win. That's it for the South. We've kicked off our first stop. Now let's move to the North. We'll be at Pickwick at the next stop of the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. I hope it's as warm at Pickwick as it is right now because it's 26 degrees this morning. It was cold. Let's hope we don't have that once again.